to say you had it tough is, is to put it mildly. I mean, you were left without a parent at, at eight years old. At 12 years old, you were dealing drugs on the streets right. because that was the only way to survive. And yet the interesting thing, again, about you, which I found surprising, I don't want to insult you by saying that, but mm -hmm. I remember asking you, how many drugs have you taken? Right, and I, I don't actually use drugs. It was you easy, never taken drugs? No, it was an easy option. It was either you can take $10 or $5 that you spent on, on buying weed to smoke it or put it in your pocket. My motivation at that point, it wasn't like I was making the decision to do it with the comfort of having uh, things just around me at access. It, there weren't things around. Like it was, but most people it, of your peer group at the time would have been taking drugs. So well, it showed a, a, yeah, a, it showed a, a self-discipline which is odd in a boy of that age. And I got a chance to see a lot of, my grandmother's, my mother was one of nine. Mm. So I got a chance to watch a lot of my mother's uh, sisters and brothers at different periods, like experiment with the usage of drugs or alcohol, you know, and- Did you ever touch alcohol? I see them respond so differently from it that I stayed away from it. Like I had- so You've never taken drugs. You've never done alcohol. I've, I've drunk before, but not like- Not much. Yeah. And, and you I've don't anymore. I've had an experience that what, what made me like a paranoid because of it, and I stayed away from it following that. Smoke? No. I mean, you're one of the squeakiest, cleanest men I've ever met. 